this is one of the reasons why I say um, we should be careful with whatever we put out there on social media. We should be careful on what we do with our family out there, especially on the social media, because it's not everybody that comes to watch your video that is happy with you. There are some people who just come as spy to come and see what you are doing on social media, especially if you have bad neighbors who are just there to see the way they will bring you down. So in today's video, we'll be talking about an African lady known as Abiba. She's originally from Somali, but she's based in Germany, a mother of 11 children. Yes, you heard me right. She has 11 beautiful children that she looks after very well. She takes good care of them. So this neighbor did not see, you know, anything to report about her. You know, sometimes they will say, oh, she's not taking care of her children. So for the reason they will report her or they will report you to the police or social services. But in our own case, she has 11 children that she looks after very well. She does a thing on TikTok. She, as in the way she clean her house, take her, takes care of her children. You know that indeed she's a good mother. For the fact that she has eleven children, does not limit her, you know, energy or the way she treats them. She treats them very nicely. But just take a look at what happened to this African lady who is from Somali, based in Germany. We'll be looking into that in a minute, and I'll also show you the video clip, but I'm not going to let the volume of the video come out. As I'm talking, I'll just, you know, put it by the side, because if I uh, release the volume, YouTube might bring down this video. So this happened in Germany as she was harassed, she was reported by a neighbor who, who doesn't even know what she does on social media. So according to the story, Abiba told us herself, because when this was happening, when the police burst into her house, she was recording live. She came live on TikTok to let her followers know what is happening. According to Abiba, she said she was in a house with 11 children having a nice time. And then she started hearing knock. She started hearing knock um, at her door and she was like, who is that? They said they are police, they are police. She said she wasn't sure whether or not those people there were police because the way they were hitting the door, they were banging it. It's not as if they were just tapping, you know, they were banging the door. So she said she wasn't sure whether or not they are police because she was scared that no police will come to your ass and come and be banging your door like that. She said, especially when she is a mother of 11 children, that she needs to be sure of the person or the people at her door before she opens the door because she cares so much about her children. She doesn't want anyone to come and hurt her or hurt her children. So she said, finally, the police made their way in. How did they make their way in? You'll be seeing the clip of the video. She said they burst the door. They burst her door and came into the house mm -hmm. to meet her with her 11 children. She was screaming on the live video on TikTok. She said she doesn't know those people. They said they are police. Oh, this, that, and that, and this. She doesn't know them. But at the end of the day, she saw that of a truth, these were policemen and women. So what has happened? She said, what is my crime? What is my crime? She was asking them in Dutch. And they told her that a neighbor of yours sent us an email. Your neighbor told us that you went live on TikTok and you were telling them that you are tired, that you want to end your life. You want to delete yourself. And when they, you know, went through a record, they discovered that she is not alone. She has 11 children. So the police decided to swing into action. They came very fast, very swiftly, just to see how they can save her or save the children. You know, at this point now, I will not blame the police because some people are saying that the police harassed her. I understand where the police is coming from. As we know, the police are there to save us. The police are there to make sure that, you know, things don't go wrong, especially when they get information that somebody wants to delete themselves or their children. So the police has to do what they have to do. So the police said the, when they receive the email, they have to come immediately. And since you refused to open the door and you were screaming in the house, you know, it gave us the signal that of a true, you really want to end your life. You really want to delete yourself and your children. So they decided to brush, as in break into the house, 
by any means possible just to see how they can save this lady and the children but it turned out that a neighbor the neighbor of abiba lied she did not say anything abiba did not say anything at such abiba is a very beautiful nice young lady for the fact that she has 11 children doesn't mean that um she will go on social media and be saying that she wants to end the life she wants. We all see what she does on social media. She's not, you know, an eating figure. She's out there in the open. She's very popular on TikTok. She does a normal business, a daily business. She looks after her children, tidy her house. She's a very neat lady. So I don't know where that um, idea came from that made the neighbor went to you know report to the police or write to the police that abiba said she wants to end her life on live tiktok i don't understand that's why i say we have to be careful what we do out there especially on social media it's not everybody that sees the way you are enjoying the way you are happy with your family with your children it's not everybody that will happy with you probably this neighbor of us has been looking for a way to report her to the police or social services to say i think you need to come and look into this woman's life she has 11 children all by herself oh blah 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 she can't take care of the children you need to take some children from her but i think probably they didn't see any opportunity to report her you know in regards to her children because she's doing well looking after her children properly the way a proper mother will look and take care of her children so they didn't see any excuse any opportunity or any mistake that she has done with the children so the neighbor decided to you know frame up come up with something that will make the police visit her and make her look stupid and useless so they'll come and take the children from her i know most of the people that their children are being taken from them it's not all of them most of them did not deserve their children to be taken from them but because of one or two whistle false whistle blowers they will come and we not even want to hear from the lady or from the family they will just pick the children from the house because they believe the children are not safe you see this life take care of your children look after yourself very well look after your children because but if by the time the police came that very day and afiba or abiba is the kind of lady that doesn't look or take proper care of her children let me tell you before the police came to a house they must have gone through a social media you know um pages to see what she's up to there probably they saw that she's taking good care of her children because she's a very neat lady she does almost all her things on social media online and you see them whatever she's doing with the children they look so healthy they look so happy she takes good care of them cook good food in fact she's doing so well with her 11 children probably they didn't see that opportunity to come and say we are taking the children from her or from you they decided to frame her they look for something that we used to frame her up to say she wants to buy herself she wants to end her life she wants to delete herself and they came but thanks be to god the police came and they see that she's okay nothing is wrong with her so they decided to leave her and leave the children with her as well if the police uh, must have sensed danger or when they got there they saw that the children's lives are in danger or her life is in danger they would have taken the children away from the house or they would have taken her away but they left her and left the children that's to tell you that she's okay but this neighbor just want to do busybody so i thank god that they left her and they left the children but one thing i want to say here is that the psychological the trauma that these children must have gone through or the thing that will be going in their memory in their mind in their head at the moment only god knows because breaking into their house in front of those children the way they were hitting the door and they broke the glasses into the you know children is so traumatizing to be honest i know it's not going to go away from the head of the children for it it will be there for a very long time but i pray that god will clear it from their mind because it's a very horrible scene even when i watched the video i was hearing the sound the shout the screaming and everything it was so devastating it is so sad that is why i say whatever we want to do do it well and do the right thing so that tomorrow 
nobody will hold you for nothing. So that when something like this arises tomorrow, you'll be able to drag your head out of it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.